Hello, welcome to lesson 2.1. We're going to be comparing and ordering and rounding decimals. So the essential question here is, uh, how do I round, order, and compare decimals? Well, first, what is a decimal? So we have a vocab word here. A decimal is a number where point separates the whole number from the part, from the fractional part of a number. For example, if we have a uh, 35.2. The 35 is the whole number. The decimal separates the whole number from the fractional part of the number. Okay? An important part of decimals is knowing place value. So off to the side, I included a place value chart. So if this is our decimal here, the first place after the place value is called the ones digit. And then tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Going the other way, there is no once digit, but it goes tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, and they keep going in both directions. So a number like 35,628.973 one. So in this number, this is in the ten thousandths place, thousandths, hundredths, tenths, ones. This would be tenths with a T-H-S, tenths. This would be hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths place. So let's see in this lesson how we're going to round, order, and compare decimals. Example 1. Comparing decimals. In this lesson, we want to compare two decimals and say which of these two numbers is bigger, 2.405 or 2.43. Well, here's how to do this. First thing you look at is the number in front of the decimal. Once you look at the number in front of the decimal, if one number is bigger than the other. If one whole number is bigger than the other, then that is your bigger number. Now, that doesn't help us in this problem here. So now, it's sort of like going in alphabetical order. We're going to go one digit at a time from left to right to see which one's bigger. So, starting here, they're the same. Move over. The tenths place, they're the same. Go to the hundredths. Here, the 3 is bigger, so this is the bigger number. Alright, let's look at one more example, and then I'll let you try one. We're going to try the example 3.5 compared to 2.6. And I want to know which of those two is the bigger number. Well, again, I like to set it up up and down. So you start with the whole numbers, the part in front of the decimal first. Well, which one's bigger, the 3 or the 2? Hopefully, you're saying the 3 is bigger. So that right there tells you that the 3.5 is bigger than the 2.6, because the whole number part was greater than the whole number part here. Alright, so let's have you try an example. Let's have the example... 7.6 compared to 7. Now, I guess I should add that if you don't have a decimal part here, this number, if you think of it as a decimal, would be considered 7.0. You can always add zeros at the end of a number, and it does not change the number. This could be written as 7.6. 0, 0, 0, 0, but we don't need the zeros at the end. Okay, so if you could please try this problem, hit pause, and when you're ready to continue, hit play again. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to try this problem. So first thing I like to do is set it up, up and down. That's a zero. So you compare the whole numbers, they're the same. That doesn't help you out. You move to the tenths place. Well, I have a 6 and I have a 0. Out of the 2, the 6 is bigger. So that means the 
is the bigger number. Okay? Let's try one last example of comparing before we get into ordering. 0 0.23 compared to 0 0.234. So, when you compare them again, put them up and down, and work from left to right. Hit pause, and when you're ready to continue again, hit play. Alright, so, 0 0.23 compared to 0 0.234. Three, four. Well, you start moving from left to right. Zeros, the same. Tenths place, the same. Hundredths place, the same. Here you're comparing four against nothing. Well, think about it. What's a mathematical symbol for nothing? That's right, a zero. So you're comparing a four and a zero. Well, which one's bigger? Well, that one's bigger. So that is your bigger decimal. Very good. So, let's try ordering decimals now. When you're ordering decimals, what you're really doing is you're comparing decimals over and over and over again. You're going to tell me which one's the biggest, the smallest, and the middle. So, again, I start by lining all my decimals up vertically, up and down, with my decimals lined up. So, 8.11, 8. 8.03, 8.75, and 8.42. So, I don't know which of these is the smallest, from least to greatest. So, I start by looking at the whole numbers. Well, all the whole numbers are the same, so that doesn't help me out. I move to the next digit over. I have a 1, a nothing, which, if you remember, Nothing, zero, is the same as nothing. So I have a one, a zero, a zero, a seven, and a four. So I want to compare these. Well, between that tenth place, zero and zero are the same. So we're going to be looking at these two for which is the smallest. So we move to the next digit over. Three and nothing. Three and zero. So which one's smaller? Well, 8.00 is smaller than 8.03. So the smallest one here is 8.00. Then you start all over again. So ones is the same. Out of the tenth place, well again, zero is the smallest, and since we've used this one up, it has to be 8.03 for the next smallest. Next, going back to the ones place, they're the same. Tenth place, we have a 1, a 7, and a 4. Well, the 1 is obviously smaller than 7 or 4, so that is our next smallest. Going up to 8.42 is the next, and finally 8.75 is the largest. So these are my fractions in order from the smallest to the largest. Now, if you could, I want you to try one on your own. So try this, 4.3... 3.54, 5.3, and 5.34. Hit pause. When you're ready to continue again, hit play. Alright, so hopefully you had a chance to try this out, put these decimals in order. So I'm going to line them up. 4.3, 3.54, 5.3, 3.45, and 5.34. Looking at the whole numbers, 3 and 3 are the smallest, and out of them, going kind of in alphabetical order, numerical order, 3.4 comes before 3.5. Then, 3.54 is next. Back to the whole numbers, I've used up my 3's. Next smallest is 4.3. And then finally, I have my whole numbers of 5 left. To compare them, I have 5.3 and 5.34. Hmm. 5's are the same. 3's are the same. I'm comparing 4 with nothing. Well, nothing is smaller than 4. So 5.30 wins, and 5.34 is the largest. Hopefully you got that correct. 
Okay, our final step in the process here is now going to be rounding decimals. So we want to round decimals, let's say this decimal here, to the nearest tenths. THS, that's that place value right there. Well, the way we're going to do this is we're going to, first, I like to underline. Underline the three. That's the only digit that's going to change. Now, I have to look at the digit to the right to tell me, is that three going to go up, or is it going to stay the same? Well, if that number to the right is a five or greater, then the three goes up to a four. If it's a four or less, it stays a three. In this case, we have a four. So this number, rounded to the nearest tenths, is 10.3, and that's the only digit that might change. Everything after that tenth digit turns into zeros, and we don't need it anymore. 10.3 is this number, rounded to the nearest tenths. Okay. Last one here. If you could, please, round to the nearest ones. That's the whole number ones right there. So hit pause when you're ready to continue again. Hit play. Alright, so hopefully you got a chance to try this out. So this is our ones digit, so you look at the digit to the right. If that's a five or greater, that will go up. But since it's a four or less, that stays the same. So one, ten, point, and remember everything after the underlying digit turns to zeros and we don't really need them. Now you can write them, but it doesn't, we don't need them. That number is just 10. So if we could, I'd like to try to put down maybe a set of rules on rounding decimals. So let's say, for example, step one is find the given place value. Because if you don't know the place value, you can't really round. find the given place value. Okay, step two is, well, if the digit to the right of the given place value is a five or higher, it goes up. So, five or higher, the digit goes up. If it's four or less, the digit stays the same. And finally, all the digits after the given value, so the given place value, if we're looking at the tenths, all the digits after the tenths would turn into zeros. So all digits after the given value turn to zeros. All right, so that is our lesson 1.2.